While we've all had our moments of childishness, these antics can end up taking a toll on relationships, because the other person is failing to take your feelings into account. Lack of emotional maturity can spark problems within any relationship. To maintain a healthy relationship, both partners must be able to communicate effectively and be emotionally fine spending time with or without the other person. Someone emotionally immature will find it hard to effectively communicate or process their emotions and can often appear selfish. Welcome to Psych Facts. Listen Caring Sharing. Today, our topic is about 9 Signs of Emotionally Immature Friends. Here are 9 signs of emotional immaturity to look out for in a partner or even in yourself. 1. They're selfish. There's a huge difference between having a partner who knows their self-worth and recognizes when to put their own needs first, and having a partner who is totally selfish and constantly steps on others in order to give themselves a leg up. Your partner may only do things that benefit them. If you need something, the only way they will step up is if it will benefit them as well. They are not a helper type of partner. 2. Temper tantrums. Temper tantrums are an indicator of emotional immaturity. Mature individuals are able to control emotions without creating a scene or being overly dramatic. Temper tantrums are childlike ways of showing your distaste for something that has occurred in the relationship. Temper tantrums are characterized by yelling, crying and even violent behavior. These are especially detrimental to a relationship as they create additional strain and negativity between the couple. Fight the urge to become overly angered or emotional during disagreements because temper tantrums only increase your problems since they are likely to offend your partner. 3. Self-involvement. People may be self-involved whether they are in a relationship or not. Emotionally immature people are often largely concerned with doing things only for themselves. This type of person completes tasks because of what she will get out of it. This could be a connection with another person or something tangible such as clothing. Self-involvement creates negative feelings within a relationship as often one member feels used or taken advantage of. People may be self-involved and fail to realize that their actions are offensive to others. 4. Dependency. Sometimes partners become overly dependent on each other. This could be due to a lack of other relationships or it could be a sign of irrational fears, such as the fear of being alone. Dependency is a sign of emotional immaturity as well as a sign that the dependent partner lacks confidence in his ability to complete even the smallest tasks without the other person's presence. Dependency can cause a lot of strain on a relationship, and the person on the receiving end may feel very suffocated or smothered. If your partner exudes dependency, sit down and talk calmly with him about your concerns. 5. Impulsive behavior. Impulsive behavior is usually spurred by the need for instant gratification. People are likely to do this in a relationship when they are struggling to hold the relationship together. Impulsive behavior, such as excessive spending on a whim, is an indicator of emotional immaturity. This behavior shows that one partner may be more concerned with immediate pleasure than the overall well-being of a relationship. People with overly impulsive tendencies put additional pressure on a relationship and the effects can be viewed from a monetary or emotional angle. 6. You feel lonely in the relationship. The whole point of a relationship is to have a partner who makes you feel loved, supported, and respected, so there's nothing worse than feeling like you're totally alone in your relationship. If your partner is emotionally immature, there's likely a lack of emotional intimacy in your relationship. This will leave you feeling disconnected because your partner can't bond with you on a deeper level. 7. They keep things surface level. It can take time to really open up to someone and connect on a deeper level, but if you've been together for a long time and you still feel like your partner is holding back, that might mean they're unwilling or unable to move past a surface level relationship. Perhaps your partner makes you laugh or is a blast to do activities with. But when it comes to getting more intimate, they just can't go there. Intimacy involves opening yourself up, sharing, connecting and brings about a sense of closeness, affection, and familiarity. 8. They get defensive. Even if their feelings are a little hurt, a mature partner doesn't get overly defensive at even the smallest criticism. 
In a healthy relationship, both partners should feel comfortable bringing up potential problems and working on them together, one person shouldn't have to walk on eggshells in fear of upsetting their partner. An emotionally immature partner becomes extremely defensive over even the smallest of things, especially if they are in the wrong. And if their partner does step on their toes, a tantrum and some name-calling may be in order. 9. They don't carry their own weight in the relationship. Don't get me wrong, being thoughtful and doing nice things for your partner is definitely a good thing. But if you find yourself constantly picking up your partner's slack, that could mean you're headed for a relationship where everything is one-sided and your own needs aren't being met. An emotionally immature partner expects you to do everything for them. You may have to ask them multiple times to do something. They may do so grudgingly and possibly make you feel guilty in the process. Do you have emotionally immature friends? What more do you want to add? Let's us know in the comment section below. Do you have any topics in mind? We will be glad to make them for you. Make sure you like, subscribe to get more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Take care.